So even to those of us who are so busy, rustling, rustling around, hustling and bustling, running from A to B and C to D and back to A, even to the most busiest of us, still these questions come. What am I doing? Why am I doing these things? Where am I rushing to? And who am I? If we look again at our history books, we will see evidence of human civilizations, great, powerful human civilizations, which in their day dominated the planet. Very powerful but in their time faded away and just now they are only represented in our history books. They no longer exist. We know of great mountains that started by emerging from the ocean and rising high into the sky and in their time too crumbling and falling back into the ocean. And every day we see human beings take birth, live a lifespan, and then die and cease to be. And we ask the question, is this ceasing to be all that there is to my existence? Have I just come to be just for the purpose of ceasing to be? None of us actually like to accept that. We all instinctively sense that we are much more than that. That there is a great purpose to our life. A great journey to somewhere. We all instinctively feel it. But not knowing how to develop these feelings and these thoughts, these instincts. And being overcome by the pressures of daily living, the demands of the family, the demands of work, just surviving, doing this and that. And so what happens is these feelings of, I am something more, they become hazy. They recede to the back of our mind. We become lazy about examining them. But these thoughts actually they are very patient. And not only are they patient, but they are persistent. Because they continually re-emerge. Re-emerge. Why am I here? Where am I going? Who am I? What is the purpose behind this very existence? These thoughts keep coming up. So we are, in fact, questioning our mortality. Questioning it. All the time questioning our mortality. So, we ask people, how long do you think you've been here on this earth? Immediately, because we all know our birth date, I, born 19th of May 1953. How long do you think you'll live? Oh, well, the average age, I suppose, is 76 to 80 years. So I suppose that's my lot. This is the answer that we can give about our existence. That's all we know. I came into existence on this particular date. Currently, I'm still alive. And at a given moment, sometime in the future, I'll pass away. This is all that we know about ourselves. These are my parents, this is where I was born, and so on. Yet we want to know more. And where do we turn? Again, these talks that you are going to hear, they are primarily based on the great scriptural writings that have emerged from India. Many great writings, known as the Srimad Bhagavatam, the Bhagavad Gita, the Ramayana, the Mahabharat, texts that you've probably never heard of, but they are very powerful writings. And so 
the yogis, the rishis, the munis, the sages, the saints, these wise people, they have all left footprints in the sands of time in our history. And in these talks, we're going to follow those blueprints, those footsteps. And we're going to come to understand these great mysteries of the self.